what is up guys it's Matthew here and today I want to talk to you guys about my journey so far trying to become a moto vlogger I guess I'm not really trying to become a moto vlogger I'm just moto vlogging for fun but I wanted to share in as in the best detail that I possibly can from memory <laughs> my experience so far from posting my first video up until today and I just want to share it as potential encouragement that could put that would lead towards others maybe wanting to try because the whole point of this channel has always been to try to encourage people to to push for their dreams and things like that so if that's something that you guys are interested in hearing stay tuned um, I'm on my way to the gym go figure <laughs> but uh, throughout the day today I'm gonna be riding around a little bit and trying to do the best I can to to explain this process um, it's been fun but yes uh, if if but before I get started I do have to I hate doing this. I, I wish I didn't have to do this. <laughs> if you guys like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in this type of content, feel free to subscribe. That would be awesome. So. Alright, so. In the beginning. In the beninging. <laughs> I was nervous. I got my motorcycle. I've had an R6 in the past. I, I rode the R6 for a few years, hit and miss, got rid of it. Was intending to make videos with the R6. But we're talking like six or seven years ago. This was a while ago. Um, I had a significant other at the time. Um, and it took up a lot of my my time and I'm not complaining because it was a great period in my life but it took up a lot of time and it was a big distraction towards wanting to get out here and work on these things I would say other things about it there's reasons why it didn't work out that great for for recording for making stuff you guys don't want to hear this but anyways I couldn't do it at that time well I could but I found every excuse not to. Uh, but eventually I had gotten rid of that motorcycle and picked up a Can-Am Riker Rally. Uh, that thing was a lot of fun. I thought it would be really cool. I took it to the mountains. I took it to the, the coast. Uh, took it on long trips, comfortable the entire way. If I can have another one, I would. It was a fantastic vehicle. Um, but... I got tired of having two wheels on the ground up front. I wanted to lean again. I wanted to lean over again. So um, eventually uh, I had sold that and uh, was in the works on getting a new motorcycle. And uh, this is, I mean, over the span of uh, three or four years or something, it took some time to get to this point. but. Um, luckily, I had a pretty good break on the stock market. Bought some call options with the S&P 500 after a, a big dip. I think there, it was uh, around the, the COVID stuff. I timed the recovery of, of the market with that COVID. Once the Fed started, you know, 24-7 printing money and dumping it on the stock market to artificially inflate it. And basically, when they started creating this in inflation problem that we're living in today, um, I made a quick buck on that on that recovery, and was able to get my motorcycle. It was great, um, but then I had my motorcycle for a while with the intention of making videos. But the issue then <laughs> was, well, I don't know how to do it. Um, and instead of le learning how to do it, I used it as an excuse to postpone it. So, eventually, 
I was just like, okay, well, I really want to do this. I don't know how to do it right now, but this is something I really want to do. And I missed my turn. That's okay. Um, and I ended up uh, getting the stuff I needed to do. I looked up just like, you know, basic things. They said, get a GoPro. So I got a GoPro. And it was a new one at the time. And and then I was like, okay, so I need a microphone. How do I plug this in? So I actually got the Senna system thinking that, oh, I could just Bluetooth it because the GoPro has Bluetooth. It doesn't work. So I had to figure it out. Uh, then I learned that I needed to get the media mod so I could plug in a lavalier microphone. And then at that time, I was tired of spending money on it. So I just found a cheap option, the Purple Panda, which, you know surprisingly a lot of moto vloggers use and they still use it i still use it a lot of other ninja 650 riders that i you know communicate back and forth with they still use it and a lot of the bigger channels you know still still recommend it like i just watched a moto vlog setup with imk and he still says purple panda try it it works and it's like 11 dollars or 12 dollars or something crazy like that so got that stuff all settled up and the and then finally um went out and recorded my first video and you guys seen my first video and it's actually still one of my most popular videos which is really cool so then the journey begins <laughs> what do i talk about so i will get it to that um after i do my exercise at the gym and I will bring it back to you guys is going to seem like a second, but then I will continue my, my talk. Um, I'm kind of short on time, so I do need to go exercise right now. So I'll be back. All right. See ya. <sighs> it was leg day today, so I'm a little bit exhausted. So where were we? story time I gave you guys the low down on getting started getting the bike and getting my channel up and running so now we get into the meat and potatoes I want to talk about my my experience starting out and what to expect and especially like if you're just beginning and wanting to get monetized and things like that but you guys may notice that uh, I have over my thousand subscriber goal that I wanted, but there's still one more bit that I'm missing <laughs> before I can monetize. And I've seen that they've already been posting ads on my videos, so I do want to try to push and get this done. So at least those ads um, are benefiting me in some way. If you guys are going to have to sit through and skip through them anyways, it would be nice that it at least benefits the creator. So we're going to be pushing towards that. But starting from the beginning, I posted my first video, my Ninja 650 Ride and Ramble. First ride, Ride and Ramble or something like that. Drove out to the lake. I had a blast. I, I recorded that video. I had a blast. Got home, threw it on the editor. And I'm going to tell you guys, I don't edit my videos. <laughs> I'm not saying somebody else edits my videos. No, my videos are never really ever edited. Um, if there's segments like today where I talk for a little bit and then I have to stop, go exercise, and then come back and I continue talking, I will um, throw it onto Shotcut is the name of the program I use. It's an open source, free open source that supports up to 4K. Uh, I wanted the 4K support. And I wanted a free one that didn't throw a watermark in there. And because this thing has been so useful for at least what I'm doing, it's not a very powerful editor. Yeah, there are some people who can make masterpieces out of this program. I'm not one of them. I literally use it to add those fade transitions and to piece a couple clips together. That's what I use it for. That's all I know how to use it for. Uh, but that being said, once I get home and I throw it in the editor, the time on the program is only like 10 or 15 minutes. And then I export the finished product. I watch it uh, before I upload it because I don't want to have a, a mistake. I did almost upload a video at the very beginning of my, of my journey here uh, with a like five minute black screen silence. <laughs> 
because I forgot to save it when I merged two clips together after taking out a big chunk of it because um, I had some audio issues with it um, and I'm glad that I actually took the time to watch my video and also I just want to make sure that it's at least slightly coherent you know make sure that if I can understand it I think anybody else can understand it because I'm not the brightest bulb <laughs> um, so yeah uh, my first video comes out and I'm telling you guys um, I didn't care about the numbers when I posted that first video and I'm glad I didn't care about the numbers because that first video before it ever really started getting traction was probably like a year I posted it it got maybe like 10 or 15 views and then it went silent and I was just like you know I'm doing this for fun coming out here riding and talking to you guys is fun and so I'm always motivated to come out here and keep doing it because it's fun I do it because it's fun I wake up in the morning and I look forward to it because it's fun that's super important if you guys want to get into something like this you need to start off with things that are fun because numbers do not come quickly unless you're really lucky if you're really lucky and you blow up that's cool you know I've seen some people who will post like you know I made a hundred thousand subscribers in six months or something like that and then they talk about it and they go through their videos and it's like nothing 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 and then they get one video that blows up and goes viral and they get all their subs and then after that it's nothing 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 people watch the video it's a quick success and then it disappears and so I'm actually kind of glad that I haven't blown up yet because I feel like at the beginning of this journey I had the personality where if I blew up I would have expected to blow up every time and then I probably would have gotten you know depressed or or whatever and not continued because it's like I it was a one and done I probably would have kind of sucked um, so I'm glad it's been slow because I really didn't get any major traction on my channel which I still haven't in like comparison but you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people I still haven't gotten very much traction on my videos my biggest video is like under 50,000 views and it's one of my first videos it is a thousand mile review on this bike um, it did really well it got me a lot of my watch hours it got me a lot of my subscribers and yes that is a big part of why my most recent video is two years of owning this bike it's a review on the same bike um, but after two years because some opinions have changed and of course I've gotten more comfortable with it I've ridden it more I feel like I have a better a better more solid opinion of the bike but that being said I did make that video because it did well in the past um, it hasn't blown up yet as of this recording it is under a thousand views it may not but it's still doing better than most of my videos my typical videos still to this day do like 200 to 300 and then they go quiet I'm I have a theory as to why and I think it's because of the click-through rate I haven't done a lot of research but I have been paying attention the videos that get pushed more and get more views tend to have a higher click-through rate it's it's basically the, the the YouTube will show your video to a lot of people and then you'll get a percentage of those people who actually click on it and then of course there's a retention how long do they watch the video now the retention is important for watch hours yes but to get it out to more people you need people to click on it and I feel like for me it's thumbnails I have never really once except for one experiment I did with five of my videos but I changed the thumbnails after they were uploaded and they had no effect so I feel like what I need to be doing is creating the thumbnail and having it with that thumbnail when it's posted and I'm gonna be trying that I'm gonna try that with this vi with this video here I'm gonna try to ride out to uh, probably because we're going this way I might go up to the mountain do my favorite spot and get a nice picture a nice view of it 
throw some text on there or whatever. This has been a learning experience for me. I'm go I'm going off and I apologize. This is what I usually do. If you guys have been here for a while, you'd know this is what I usually do. But anyways, I made my first videos and I'm trying to do this in a storytelling way because this is, uh, it's kind of cool. I, I The whole process has been kind of cool. Um, uh, so my first videos do nothing like the first year of me making videos and I think I did like one or two videos a week um, Probably not there was probably a couple like where I'd have a break for a month or something Especially at the start because I wouldn't really know um, the problem is I was nervous I was really nervous about getting out here and I was nervous and I didn't know what to talk about and it has taken me probably the first year to kind of get an idea of what type of conversations I want to have on this channel. I want to talk about things that are slightly controversial. You know, I want to talk about things that are um, kind of like other perspectives, like almost like playing devil's advocate, but without the devil because I don't like that guy. Um, but like what I mean is, I, I want to be able to talk about, it took me a long time to figure this out, I want to be able to talk about uh, things like my journey upon uh, trying to rebalance and restructure my life. And I have been working on this project through YouTube as a platform to, to build consistency, to build a professional uh, approach to what I'm trying to do or where I want to go with my life. I'm trying to use this platform to prove to myself that if there's something that I want, I can have it as long as I work hard at it. And in proving it to myself, because of the nature of this platform, it is also showing other people the process, that at least the process that I'm going through. Because I'm not like, there are tons and tons that the YouTube is saturated with people who have had an easy upbringing and just have whatever they wanted whatever they asked their parents for they can have it and they got famous because they come on here and say look what I already have and it feels to me like there's a lot more of that than there are people who say look what I'm working on you know what I mean? This is what I'm working on. Now, the working on, you get people like artists, you know, things like that. I love artistic channels because they are sharing their passion, sharing their craft, sharing the process. And each individual painting or picture or digital art piece that they produce is a journey. And in sharing that, they're sharing their journey every single time and then you have the finished process. And if they're really good at storytelling with it, they can say, you know, this is what I learned in the process. This is, you know, this is how you can learn from my mistakes. Things like that. I love that. I want more of that. And I feel like in doing this on this platform, I'm derailing again and I apologize. In doing this, um, I could be encouraging other people who were in the same situation as me and when I started you know and I'm not trying to I'm not I'm not trying to sound like a uh, like I know anything about you know mental health mental conditions things like that I just know that when I started this channel when I started when I had the initial motivation to try just do it anyways I was depressed you know, I was depressed because um, I really had nothing going for me in life. Like, life as far as I have known it has always been difficult. And, and I really had this, this like, okay, I will work hard and make it extra difficult today so that I may have the chance to experience easy. And I'm not saying easy, like where everything's handed to me, because I don't want to become egotistical. I don't want to become materialistic. I don't want to become, uh, I don't want to take it for granted. But I don't want to have to worry about bills. I don't want to have to worry about like, 
you know I have to have this procedure done but I can't afford it so I'm just gonna have to live with this discomfort for the rest of my life you know there's things like that that exist and and it sucks and it sucks because then like because I feel like that spiral is, continues to get heavier and heavier and the heavier it gets the harder it is to break out and so there was that initial moment when I made my first video where I'm just like I'm done <laughs> you know what I mean I, I and I'm not I'm not gonna go into like major details but I had a drive I got in my car at the time it was a Mini Cooper um, I drove around and and I was, I was actually I believe it was this drive up to the top of the mountains because I've told you guys before I take this drive all the time um, that drive I was just yelling at myself like you know sure if you want to look at it as like a uh, it's, it's probably a mental breakdown and I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna say you know whatever but I'm sure if somebody saw me I looked crazy <laughs> but I was so tired of it so tired of of that just being at the bottom or feeling like I'm at the bottom all the time and the only thing that really can get you out of there is just to get out there's no magic pill there's no there's no I mean there's luck luck happens but then that's short-lived and usually once you've tasted that success if it was a lucky success once you've tasted that success and then you dip back down to where you were because you didn't learn anything anything from it you dip back down to where you were because that's still your foundation that spot hurts worse because you've tasted it you've tasted what it could be and then you get back but you didn't learn anything you didn't get any skills so you need to dig yourself out you need to you know throw a rope up there tie it off to something and you gotta pull yourself out and you gotta pull yourself out and while you're climbing up that rope you gotta be kicking off and shaking off all that all that luggage in that in that uh, negativity and and the uh, experiences that put you there you have to be able to identify them and shed them off because the more you can get rid of the lighter you will become and the easier the climb will become and that has been the two year so far process of this channel um, so that's a lot to say that I started it out of necessity because I wanted to do better for myself and I also want to be able to provide for the people I love right and I got tired of kind of feeling like I was just that dead weight you know what I mean um, I don't want this to be a negative video you guys I promise there's a happy ending to it <laughs> because today riding this bike today I'm happy I still haven't quite made it but the journey has been perfect absolutely perfect so what challenges <laughs> we're probably like an hour and a half into this video at this point I don't care what challenges have I faced along the way um, there are oh, you can't number them there are mental challenges there's physical challenges with you know physical health um, and then there's mental health and then there's motivation and drive and then there's like feedback um, the, the numbers the data um, and then you know the bike gets stolen and then I'm out of the game because right now I built my channel around this motorcycle and I haven't quite figured out how to do something different I'm working on it <laughs> but the bike gets stolen and then you know it's okay hold on a second <laughs> it took a long time to finally realize that people are the people who are seeing what I have to say have been enjoying it of course not everybody is it took ooh, gravel 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 it took a long time to be able to separate the people who are being constructive to the people who are just being rude you know and I want to identify rude because I don't want people to think that if they point out a mistake like on my on my most recent video I made a mistake calling my motor on this bike a v-twin when it's a parallel twin 
somebody called it out. I am extremely grateful for that because I don't want to put out information that's not correct. And there is such thing as constructive criticism. That is a prime example of constructive criticism. And there are other examples of constructive criticism that I have received that have helped me do... Woo! Chicken! I got excited. They have... I wasn't expecting... I thought it was just one. I didn't see the other one. Hey, we're good. And the chicken... The, the turkey's okay. I'm okay. I think it was a turkey. But... Oh, my heart's my heart's pounding. I thought I was about ready to hit it. I'm more concerned about its health. Um, anyways, there has been con uh, criticism that has helped me do what I do better. Helped me organize my thoughts a little bit better. And those things are always welcome. And I appreciate it. And I thank you guys for it. And then there's some people who will come on here. They won't offer anything positive, And they just say rude things. That stuff you have to learn how to shed off if you're looking to get into something like this if you want to be a moto vlogger you have to learn how to flake off those rude people but then you also have to be able to be mature enough to recognize when maybe that person might be on to something they might be correct and it's a maturity thing it's something that you learn as you go i i've been trying to encourage my brother um to make a channel around some things that he's passionate about because you know I feel like it would do good for him too but then I forgot to mention that some people are mean and if and when when I first started this channel the first mean comment that I got and I'm not gonna put any attention to it, I'm not gonna say what it was or any of that stuff but the first mean comment that I got I, I took it to heart you know what I mean and and that's some of the challenges that you face along the way you, you end up taking those to heart and I don't think there's anybody tough enough to flake off all of it so sometimes the best thing that you can do when you're not sure if you can handle it is put the phone down step away and just don't look at it and you can always come back later and when you're when you're feeling a little bit better about yourself you can always come back later and you can rake through comments and you can find the people who are being awesome and and you can give them a thumbs up and you can give them a heart on their comment and you can respond to them you can thank them and then you can just go through and you can um and you can basically you know reward the those that are um here for the community and here for um, learning or just wanting to be part of something um, small in my case it's small but it's I feel like it's growing I, it feels like it's growing but it's small and then there's people who have been here the whole time and I want to make sure those people recognize that I appreciate it and it's all part of the process there is feedback feedback is some of the challenges you face um, data is another big challenge it's really really difficult to get the algorithm to know who to send your videos out to and if the algorithm sends your videos to the wrong people it gets bad data because people will see it it's not what they're looking for and so they don't watch it so you have to pay attention to data and that could be a good thing or a bad thing you have to have a consistency, and I don't mean like a consistency with how often you upload, which does help because it's good when people can expect that there's going to be another video soon or something like that. It keeps them coming back. Um, but you have to be consistent with uh, the topic. Um, what do you do? Like, I am still, I really want my foundation to be around goal setting, reaching for your dreams. You know, I, I want, what I want from my channel is people who have grown up the same way as I did, or worse, or better, it doesn't matter, but who are finding themselves stuck. Um, if they come across my content and they watch my content, I want them to feel like they can make it. That's what I want. That's what I want the foundation of my stuff to be. But... I have built that foundation around motovlogs. So 
when I try to make a video talking about the same stuff, but I'm sitting at the top of the mountain because my bike was stolen and I don't have a bike, and I'm just talking about gratitude, um, YouTube goes, what is this? I'm expecting to see a motorcycle. So I don't know who to send it to. And so it doesn't send it to anybody. And then nobody sees it. So the consistency and kind of the the approach to your videos, the, uh, the way you do it, I will probably always be doing moto vlogs. It's not always going to be a Ninja 650. I really want to get an R7. So if if the stars align just right, we might have another bike on this channel. Um, I really want to get an R7. I've been drooling over it, but I don't want to get rid of this one because I've built this channel off of this bike, so it's got some sentimental value. You know what I mean? I would love to have both, and hopefully, if I can, if I can, I would love to have a uh, an R7 that has a similar color scheme as this one. They have white ones, but. The white ones have red wheels, and I don't like the red wheels, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I get the white one and then powder coat the wheels. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. When that time comes, we'll see. But I will always be doing moto vlogs because uh, on this channel at least, because right now that is what the algorithm expects to see. But I'm gonna try to use that platform to actually spread the message that I want to spread. Um, but you have to watch data. And, and how that can be a challenge is while you're still in the discovery phase, which could be years, I'm still in the discovery phase and I'm all over two years of doing this. I'm still, it's still trying to figure out who wants my videos and I can't figure this out. I think I just need to find a way to get more people to click on it. <laughs> Clickbait. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to try to stay away from clickbait. If you see a title, hopefully, unless I've gone onto the dark side, hopefully my my conversation for that video will be regarding the the title or the, the thumbnail. So hopefully I haven't quite jumped off the deep end just yet. But that's something to expect. You have to expect that it takes a long time. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because, again, I know that there's gonna be somebody watching this video, this very video, that has the thought in the back of their head that they might wanna try it. And I want you to try it. And also, if you're here to see this, I want you to try it, and I want you to tell me about it, okay? <laughs> It's part of the community. I don't want to build a community where I'm the center, where, you know, where my channel is the center. I want to build a community of people who also want to be creators because I feel like to have a positive impact on this world, you have to create more than you consume. And for me, creating inspiration, creating that motivation, encouraging people to make, to make things, if I can encourage somebody to make something that encourages somebody to make something, I feel like that my creation helped that other somebody too. Because it's like a chain reaction. I always, always, always will say that the best reward, or like say if, if, if you're to offer something, I'm offering my time, my, my conversation, my opinions and stuff here, the best thing that you guys can do that would make me the proudest is share it. You know, like, I, it's kind of like when, you, when, you, when somebody needs help and you give them help and they say, how can I repay you? The best way to repay that person is to encourage them to help the next person that needs it. You know what I mean? Ah, don't ask for anything in return. I don't want anything in return here. I do want to build, you know, a channel. I want to build a community and a business and stuff. But the best thing that you guys can do, if you're encouraged to get out here and do this, is to do it. And I want you guys to let me know about it because I want to go there and I want to support you. Of course, you know, I, I'm, I have my own opinions. My own, I lean certain ways on different things, you know, 
I will always support people going out there and, and doing what they want to do, but I'm I'm gonna try to stay away from things that just don't match my vibe. You know what I mean? My, what the message I'm trying to bring. So I don't want to I don't want to muddy up my channel by supporting content creators that create things that are against you know what I'm trying to build. You know what I mean? And I, I, it's hard to explain. I just want to make sure that there's authenticity. And I don't ever, ever come across as, as like, inauthentic or fake or something like that. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I took my little stop there because I think that's where I want my thumbnail to be. It's so beautiful out here. It is so beautiful. Oh, you guys, I love it up here. Okay. The final challenge. This has been the longest, probably the longest video I have ever made on this channel. The final challenge. Let me try to do this without any hands. Is learning how, uh, <laughs> learning how to ride your bike with no hands. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just goofing around. The final challenge, the biggest challenge that I have faced in my journey so far. And then I do have one other thing to say after that. I apologize. The biggest challenge for me was temporary setbacks Ugh, it all hit all at once man <laughs> i'm frustrated i'm just kidding um we got past it and i feel like we're doing better now because of it so um again i don't want to sit here and whine about it but there was that series of events the bike gets stolen the person who steals it doesn't keep it so i get it back i'm grateful it's broken i have to fix it okay so start digging into it and trying to figure out how to fix it and i get injured at work got my hand stuck in the in a machine at work that i work with injured uh third degree full thickness burn on my three fingers you guys know the whole thing um and i can't work on my bike because i've got open burn wounds and open burn wounds and and dirt and grime and oil and sludge and, and gasoline and stuff like that they don't mix very well so I need to take a little bit of a break. All right. And then the, uh, I don't want to sound negative, but the depression. I'm so close. At this point when this happened, I was at like 800 subs or something like that. And I'm like so motivated to get that thousand because at the time I had like over 5,000 watch hours on my channel. And if you guys have um, been doing this as well, you may know that you need 4,000 plus the 1,000 subscribers to monetize. So I had the watch hours. I didn't have the subscribers. And I'm just like, I'm so ready to grind out this. I had a lineup of videos prepared and everything. And I'm just like, yes, 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 we're going to do this. Um, and then these things happen. And then I'm at a standstill. And I try, like I said, I try to make a video, a couple videos that, um, that, oh, hold on a second. I got a bug in my eyeball. I got, I can't see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go off the edge. That'd be a terrible way to go. Hold on. Ow. I opened my, I opened my thingy so I can see. And what I saw was a bug. Ow, man, it brought me to tears. It's crazy how something so small can hurt somebody. I was gonna say so big, but like I'm not like a giant or anything, but whatever. It's still something crazy. Oh, it makes me feel like a softy. We can't be like this. Anyways, uh, let me get back to it. I'm gonna try to cut out some of that because I don't think you guys wanna see me digging a bug out of my eyeball. It happens. I opened my visor because it was getting hot, but then, now I want to close it again, so there we go. We're closed again. Where was I at? Um, I had those things. I was really close to the thousand subs. I had my watch hours, and then that hit. Um, and then I tried to make uh, content that I was able to do, like driving my car around and continuing to talk about things that that like encourage me and things like that. Um, and then I, you know, coming up here and just kind of chilling out, out here at the top of the mountain, um, 
and I try making those things and keeping in line with the message I'm trying to send out and what I felt was the the purpose of this channel and everything but again because the 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 style of the video was different uh, YouTube didn't know how to how to push it and and so those those videos I did like three of them actually had a uh, negative response on my on my channel the, the reaction was negative um, I actually lost a few subscribers uh, when I was doing that and I feel like a lot of it is probably just because of um, well, there's a lot of people who are here for the motorcycle and then there's probably people that don't want to hear me whine and complain about my hand and stuff like that and I understand that so um, but that not being able to be on the motorcycle because it's broken not be able to fix it because my hands injured um, and then trying to work around it having a negative response um, it, it got challenging it got challenging for me to stay motivated with it um, and it took a, it took like what six months four or five six months something like that um, before I got it all fixed and finally put back on there um, and in that time, you know, uh, over those months, I hadn't re uh, haven't uh, created any videos, but people were still subbing. So it was really great. I was really grateful for that. I was like pretty close to the thousand mark. Um, and then, uh, but like once we clocked over that thousand and I got back to work on the channel, um, I didn't have the watch time anymore because I had like five or six months without videos and of course older videos uh, eventually they disappear they they stay there and people will find them if they directly click on them but they don't really get pushed uh, like like newer ones do so not having the consistency with newer videos kind of racking up the watch hours I lost the watch hours um, and I'm still to this day working on getting those watch hours back so like I was saying at the very beginning um, I'm not quite there yet. I haven't monetized my channel yet. I do have the subs. I don't have the watch hours. Um, you know, that being said, uh, I still feel motivated to keep coming out here and making my stuff. And again, it's because I'm making content that I enjoy. That's fun. It's fun for me to come out here and do this. I'm engine braking. I probably shouldn't do this, but that portion of the hill is really steep. I don't really want to ride my brakes too much, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that is a one of the biggest challenges that I faced. And and then the other thing I was going to say after that was just about you know I'm still working on those on those watch hours, so we're not monetized yet. Um, but I feel like I I don't know. It's so weird because for so long I have felt like I'm just about there but it's never quite enough and sometimes i feel like it's designed to be that way to kind of weed out uh the people who aren't really taking it seriously you know what i mean you get lucky breaks um i, I imagine youtube loves lucky breaks because they get all this ad revenue off of those lucky breaks and then they don't have to worry about continuing to pay the, the creators afterwards um, because it was just a lucky a lucky break you know a viral video and then the rest of their stuff kind of goes in the shadows you know so they probably enjoy that too because it's like a quick buck for youtube it's you know a quick buck for the advertisers and stuff like that um you know but I, I don't know. I've always been on the side where I want to grind it. I want to grind it out because I feel like in the grind, like I said, it's been over two and a half years. I, I know that the people who are here right now are here because they want to be. It's not just because it was thrown in their face. You know what I mean? They want to be here and, and see. Um, yeah, I, I guess I don't want to sound... I, again, I don't want to sound like self-centered or anything, but I, I feel like they want to, they, they're interested in what I've got to say um, or what maybe they can learn from it or, you know, my opinions on these bikes and stuff. I feel like the people who watch it, for the most part, don't really leave wishing they didn't watch it. And that's what I would rather build. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of a long format little roundabout of what the journey has been like so far and if you guys are still here i really do appreciate it you know if you guys enjoyed it um you know please like the video it does help a lot um 
and you know subscribing or sharing or whatever you guys want to do um, or or turning on the notifications helps too though I have actually noticed that my videos perform better when I tell YouTube not to send it to YouTube notifications um, in because right now like I said I'm still in the discovery phase if somebody who subbed wants to see what I'm doing they can go to my channel and they can figure out what I'm doing but um, if if it sends a bunch of notifications out to people who aren't quite ready to watch it yet then it gets negative feedback uh, to the algorithm and so I've actually found that um, another thing um, I want to say I know this video has been long enough but I do want to say that I'm trying really hard not to just do what the algorithm tells me to do or what the data tells me to do um, and my reasoning for that is because I find it kind of annoying that if for example you want to see what settings to change on your small YouTube channel to get more exposure because there are settings channel settings community settings things like that or, or individual settings for each individual video that if you choose the wrong one could kill your chances of growing at the beginning and and so I like for that's the example is I wanted to figure out you know how to set up my videos and my channels to have the best chance of reaching more people while I'm small and what I find really annoying is I found thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands of videos. And the funny part is, they're all made within like a couple months window of each other. Right? So like one person made it and it was successful and then thousands of people made the same video. Like the exact same video. And what I say is, I was trying to look for other people's opinions to either confirm or deny what I have to say. Please let me buy. Oh, little man, these are so cute. They still got their spots on them. But anyways, to like, I wanted to get one person's opinion, check it out. And then hear somebody else's opinion, maybe learn something different, see something from a different point of view, and then check it out. And then kind of develop a list of things that I can try, that I can try for myself, for my niche, for my community. Um, but every single one of those videos were exactly the same. Exactly the same. And that's why, because when you just do what works, what the algorithm tells you to do that works all you're doing is copycat and you I, like i'd watch a video and it'd be like 15 settings and you'd watch them and you write down these settings and then you watch another video and it's like 12 settings and then you watch them and it's like wait a minute they're all exactly the same and a lot of them don't even take the time to change the order of them they literally just copy paste it and put their voice on top of it you know but the reason they do that is because it works and it's so inauthentic it's so fake but it works and i hate that um i really hate that uh because it's like that's that's like how you build yourself to fail in my opinion if you're if you're building all your content around what the data says works and so like all of your stuff is just copycat of what somebody else is doing because they got a lot of views so you're going to try to milk it eventually people catch on and they just say oh okay you know what i used to like this but now i've realized that it's literally exactly the same or you get you get drama uh you get drama from uh, those channels like when they discover you know like they'll discover that hey you're copycatting and stuff like that so what I try to do, the approach I try to do, is I collect the data on what I've made. And, and I try to make changes accordingly. But, I don't make a new video based on, like, the data. I present it based on the data, but I don't make a new video because it worked for somebody else. Or, or there's a trend about it or something like that. You know what I mean? 
if you and I feel like if you guys want to build a community that's going to be long lasting and and supportive and and like of, of course you won't get as many views you won't get as many subscribers you won't make as much money but like it's real <laughs> you know what i mean i don't know how else to explain it that's that's something that i felt was really important to me i wanted to share it um again if you made it to this point in the video I just want to say the whole reason for this video is because I want to share my experiences and some of the things I've learned. I always make videos about some lessons that I've like a single lesson that I've learned along the way, but I've never really taken the chance to to look back at the entire picture. And that's what this is. I wanted to look back at the entire picture because either you want to create something or you have been trying to create something and you're either doing better than I am or you're doing worse than I am or you're doing the same as I am it doesn't matter but if you're in if especially if you're in a point where like you want to do it but you're not quite sure yet I want this video to at least give you guys an example of what you can expect and like maybe if I'm lucky if I've done my job right maybe it'll be what you needed to take that first step and as I've always said especially if you want to get into like moto vlogging or something like that as I've always said all you have to do is make your first video the rest is easy if you have found something that you love if it's ASMR, if you want to make ASMR videos, or if you want to make mechanic videos, working on something, or, or crafting videos, or art videos, or uh, woodworking, or uh, video games, or something like that. The hardest part is making the first video, because there's a lot that goes into it. What software do I use? What camera do I use? What microphone do I use? What do I talk about? Um, what, uh, how do I want to present it? Do I want to do a lot of editing? Do I not want to do a lot of editing? And there's all these things that make you not want to do it because it's so hard to get the answer to all those things. So I always say, just do it answer those questions later your first videos are gonna suck <laughs> my first videos suck my videos still suck <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but you just it, it's so hard to try to answer all the questions before you try so you just have to try and answer the questions as you're going who cares if they suck Sometimes it's better that way because when you are successful in the future You're gonna have people who will go back and want to see how did you start? So if they suck don't get rid of them, you know put them on put them on there Don't get rid of them if they suck let them suck because it could be what what somebody else needs to see to make the first step for themselves and again the best thing that you guys can do that would justify what I'm doing out here is is to take that step and to and whatever it is it doesn't have to be YouTube whatever it is just finally starting something that you've been wanting to start for a long time that you feel is gonna raise the quality of your life because that's what I want to do I want everybody to take a deep breath I've been talking for a very long time take a deep breath and I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to hold it for just a couple more seconds. And now just gently <sighs> and sigh when you do it. <sighs> it's so important. Release the tension. Release whatever is holding you back. I'm not trying to sound like a yogi, but sometimes you gotta take a deep breath, close your eyes, and then just sigh. <sighs> And then another thing I want you guys to do when you leave this is I want you to take 15 minutes. I want you to find a quiet place, sit on your couch, sit on your bed, lay down, whatever. Find somewhere quiet. Close your eyes. And I want you to imagine and picture what it looks like when you've finally done it, when you finally made it. What does it look like? All right. 
and spend as long as you want gather all the data that you can what does it look like what does it feel like who are you what are you wearing who are the people around you what are you eating what is your physical fitness status what is your mental health you know all the data you can get I want you to imagine it and I want you to see it and I want you to want it and I want you to feel it like you've already got it all right do that and then before you stop you need to say this is what I want this is who I am and then I want you to just let it go just let it go let it drift away drift off into the ether off into the universe tell the universe what you want show them what you want now I don't want you to stop there after you've let it go I want you to solidify it in physical time and space I want you to go grab some paper grab a journal and then to the best of your ability I want you to remember all of it and I want you to write it down write it down as detailed as you can it's gonna take a while especially if it's a big dream it's gonna take a while I want you to write it down after you've thought about it after you've released it and after you've written it down I want you to close that journal I want you to put that file that paper away and then I just want you to live your life don't stress about it stress will hold you back that's one of the biggest things that I've learned stress will hold you back release it let it go and throughout your days following you may or may not just get visited by an opportunity or an idea that might maybe pop in your mind that you'll be like wait a minute why didn't I think about that before or wait a minute this person seems to have at least an answer that's gonna let me get a step closer to where I want to go you know just just release it don't think about it don't stress about it pray about it give it to God give it to God and then just go about your life and don't stress it don't try to force it and you will be surprised that things God is gonna move things to allow it to happen if if it's a worthy cause if it's a good cause it is something that he wants you to to have you know what I mean you know obviously it's not gonna work if these things are bad and negative and, and, and evil and things like that you know but like if it brings good health for yourself and for others and if it builds your faith you know for and if it if it allows you to shine that faith too for others to see it will be allowed and you'll find that you'll start moving in that direction without even trying and it'll be easy this video has been way too long if you've made it to this point again if you guys appreciate it or like it let me know your opinions tell me in the comments down below tell me let me know what you what you think and click the like button because it gets it out there this is a really long video I'm hoping that people watch most of it because it's gonna help my watch hours that's why I ramble for so long I need watch hours guys okay I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm not trying to I'm not trying to sound like I'm begging for it. I'm just having fun you guys. Thank you all for being here I really hope that me sharing this journey. It's a really long video is something that you can listen to in the background I hope it encourages you guys to try and I hope it encourages you guys to, to keep a positive mindset and a positive attitude um, Regardless of what you face because it's not gonna be smooth if it's smooth sailing all the way You're not gonna be able to appreciate it you guys my my battery cut out apparently so i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys for being here you guys are awesome and i hope to see you again soon have a wonderful day peace